Hello, I'm Freddie. Today we're paying a special visit to the oldest and most beloved citizen of this city, the Piman. In fact, he has been standing here since 1618 and it's actually one of the most visited attractions of Brussels, Belgium. Thank you for joining me. Belgium is a fairly tiny country and Brussels has been its capital ever since 1831 when the first Belgian King Leopold I ascended the throne. It also doubles as the de facto capital of the European Union simply because many of the EU institutions have been headquartered here for long and the fact that Belgium was one of the founding members of the Union. Today, let's visit the Atomium, the Royal Palace, the St. Hubert Galleries and taste the waffle and the chocolate that Belgium is that famous for. palace of the royal family of Belgium. However, it's important to note that the royal family doesn't actually live in this palace. They live in another palace which is on the outskirts of the city, which is called Laken. The Atomium was built for the 1958 Brussels World Fair. Standing 102 meters tall, it was the main building for the event at that time. It represents an iron crystal which has been magnified 162 billion times. Today, it's the very symbol of Brussels, and it's also the major landmark, the most visited here in town. Here, we get to the Parc du saint Cantonier, which was built in 1880 to commemorate Belgium's 50th independence anniversary. Its compound is also home to the Royal Museum, the Royal Art and History Museum, the Auto World Museum, and the saint Cantonier Museum. This is a very foggy day in terms of weather. However, it's even more foggy in politics. Here are the EU headquarters in Brussels, but also in London. With only a few days left to Brexit and the current chaos in British politics right now, one can only imagine the hate and the urgency in negotiations this very minute behind these walls. As a visit, a Brexit deal has to be agreed in only two weeks before the UK leaves the EU. But that's something that could not be done over the last two and a half years. This place is the head and soul of this city. On my right is its town hall, and on the other side is the museum of the city of Brussels. St. Michael Cathedral is the most famed cathedral in town, and it's also the most preferred by the royal family of Belgium. These are the royal St. Hubert galleries of Brussels. You could compare this a little bit to what we call the living room of Milan. It's, you would say it's a shopping street, but which is covered. And it's basically the best shopping address, or rather one of the really most loved and most famous shopping addresses here in Brussels. A long street, which is covered, and so many shops and so many metal stores and so many famous shops around. If you love shopping and you're in Brussels, you gotta pop up here. If you have to eat only two things when you come to Brussels, let it be the chocolate and the waffle. I've got my waffle here. Let's check it out. So it's basically the waffle itself and a little bit of cream on top of it and broken nuts. Let me check this out. Mm. That was good. That concludes my visit to Brussels. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, remember to share or hit the like button. Until the next destination, cheers. Mm -hmm.